This content is intended for educational purposes only. Unauthorized use of these techniques is illegal. Please act responsibly. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're exploring how Linux tools can track detailed info from just a phone number. Using Kali Linux, Parrot OS, or other similar distros, you can run tools like the one on this terminal to dig up data linked to any number. These methods are used in ethical hacking, private investigators, and sometimes even by cybercriminals. That's why understanding how it works is key. In this video, I'll show you what these tools reveal, and most importantly, how to protect yourself from being tracked. Now let get started. Alright, here we are. As you can see, the tool has pulled up details like the target's name, gender, target country, street address, and more, all from just a phone number. So how does this actually work? Well, most tools like this use two main methods to collect the data. First method. The script automatically calls the target number. If the target answers, key information is silently collected and sent back, then displayed right here in the terminal. Second method. The developer merges multiple caller ID APIs from across the internet. So if the target has ever signed up on a caller ID platform, their info is pulled from those services and shown here. Now, tools like this aren't always made for malicious use. Many are built for investigation. For example, verifying if a suspicious number belongs to a scammer or helping locate a lost phone. But here's what matters most, how to protect yourself. Never answer calls from unknown numbers. Always enable spam call blocking on your device. Avoid signing up on shady or untrusted caller ID apps. And most importantly, stay informed. 
Cyber criminals constantly evolve their techniques, so staying updated helps you stay protected. And a final reminder, this video is for educational purposes only. Accessing someone's private data without permission is illegal and punishable by law. So always act responsibly and stay ethical. Quick disclaimer before we end this video. This demonstration does not involve any hacking or unauthorized access. The phone number used belongs to me, and I have full permission to use it for educational purposes. Everything shown here was done in a safe, controlled environment, purely for educational purposes. No laws were broken. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to stay ahead in cybersecurity. Check out more videos here to keep your knowledge sharp.